Uncle Mark here again with uh, 2008 Cobalt. We've got uh, ABS light on and traction control doesn't want to work. They're interconnected, so I'm sure it's the same thing. Scanned it already. It says it's a, uh, one of the ABS sensors is not working. It's saying it's on the other side, uh, driver's side rear. So uh, we're going to go through some ideas here as to how we can figure out if it's wiring or if it's actually the sensor in the hub. Let's try and save some money. Just taking a look here where everything is. It looks like the speed sensor is right here. You see it right there. And uh, love the way the wire goes down. Goes around there. Up and around. Comes right across here, which is great, huh? And then joins right there. And then moves from uh, the right to the other wheel or up into there. That sounds like kind of an expensive piece of wire. Hopefully we can uh, see something in here. <laughs> I'm just thinking, oh, the plastic's pretty busted. But I can't really see what the wires look like. <sighs> oh, yeah. I think... Let's pull this away. Oh, maybe not. They're a twisted pair. And I don't see any brakes, but I haven't really. That's going to be my first wonder. I wonder if we can just take this whole thing apart and test it. These are just little tangs here, just bend all that. And then we should be able to just, I don't know. Get this thing to fall down. There we go. Okay. So far so good we got it out. Now what? Just notice this. If we try and I'm gonna try and zoom in. You see there's a contact on the right hand side, right? Where's the left one? It's way inside. I don't know if I can get the light to show it at all or not, but it's kind of bent and whatever. Maybe it's never made contact. Maybe somebody's had this. Well, it's an old car. Somebody's had this apart before and maybe just stuck it back on and never worked right. So I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but we can see it's fallen in there. I'm going to try and cut a slice on this side here. That way I can uh, attack him, that one and uh, straighten it all out because I think it... it is like this, so the other piece goes inside and it holds it like that, if that makes sense to you. If I understand it right, so I'm going to, otherwise I'm going to get another end or whatever, and I don't necessarily want to do that, but let's try this first. We're not beat yet. I went to the auto wrecker and I got uh, a chunk of this with the proper end on it. Let's go to the other side because we know how it's supposed to work and see uh, what it does, and then we can test uh, the broken side. I wouldn't know where to put your hands. Wow. There we go. Not easy to put back on. I think she's good. That old harness that I got off that other car there, hooked it up to my test meter. So we just want to see if the magnet here is working or not. So we're going to go to AC, not DC, AC. And if we give her a spin here, so obviously we can get her up to one. I don't know if it's one volt or if it's on a, well, it's up to 200. Yeah, so I guess it is a volt. But anyway, obviously that works. So we know what this one's supposed to do. We can see what the other side's supposed to do, the bad side.
There should be five volts coming here somewhere. Mm, not that one. Maybe this one that's been acting up. Look at that. Well, I thought it was supposed to be five, but... Hmm. 2.3. Well, I guess we could measure the other side and see what it is, but... Uh, and I've grounded the other one to ground. So, hmm, 2.3. Not sure what the specs say. I would have thought it was 5 volts. So, same experiment we did on the other side. Put it to AC. And give her a spin. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at that. Wait a minute. Maybe not. Darn. I was really hoping. Shoot. So it looks like it's a speed sensor, not the wire. Well, hopefully this has helped you uh, see how you can check your ABS. It helped that we had a scanner earlier and we were able to see that it said it was this wheel that was giving us a problem. We checked the wiring. Wiring checks out. Uh, voltage coming through the wiring checks out. The only thing that doesn't check out is the sensor in there. We learned that uh, it doesn't want to give us really any kind of a proper pulse. The other side does over 1 volt AC. This one won't do uh, 0.1, I think it was. So, uh, got a hub in order. It's going to take a little while to get it. Uh, so we're going to cut this video off now. Uh, the next video, hopefully, will be us putting the hub in and show you how to do that. It shouldn't be too hard. The biggest thing is going to be the price of the hub.